Alright, so they really do want me to reinstall it. That's fine. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's the original screen that first came up. I would like full screen, please. Yep, 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 thank you. Alright everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Literature Club. So. Last time we actually beat the game, technically, but I'm kind of a completionist and there's still two routes we haven't seen yet. We need to see Sayori's route and Natsuki's route. We already saw Yuri's. So I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is going to be repeats for the most part until we get to this stuff specific to that character, so I'm just going to cut out all the stuff we've already seen. And then I'll see you again when we get to the new stuff. Be right back. Alright, the first poem. So I'm going to go for Sayori's route first. Um, I think I know the right- I, I looked up the kind of words that each girl likes just to make things easier. So I think I know what kind of stuff Sayori likes. Also based on my knowledge of her character the last time I played. Oh, nope, that was wrong. Mm. Sorry for the lack of talking. I'm I'm concentrating. Okay, we should get Sayori now. Oh, interesting, we still get the book even if we're not on Yuri's route. Cool. I think this is new stuff. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Huh. Well, we can't give up. The festival's our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sari is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What? what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. 
But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sarah can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, she's very close. Hi. Ah! I open my eyes to find Sari's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait! Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. No. <laughs> You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Oh, that hurts. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sari, it's written all over you. Eh? Huh? Sari glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all, all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Luke, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe- I try to- bleh. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But- but nobody would even notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? That's mean. Eh? That's super mean, right? Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, hello there. You're very cute. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Huh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to answer that. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have known sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you even smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Wow, very straightforward. I support that. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now, so... Uh. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Aw. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Probably because there's not a version of her sprite with it buttoned up, so... <laughs> Saving assets. Whew! That's so much better. Sari puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than any anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. 
Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Ash, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Woo! Okay, we're showing it to Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Ash! Huh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's an Ash poem. That would be an Ash poem, but I'll forgive you because I typed my own name in. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the street against her chest. Did I say street? I'm sorry. I'm having trouble controlling my voice, my movements of my mouth today. I don't know why. <laughs> you're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of a club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Ash. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, this is the same breakfast poem. I'm probably not going to read these if they're the same. I trust that you guys remember them, and if not, you can pause and read it yourself. Yeah, that, yeah that's the same poem. <laughs> Sayori? This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least this makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Um, Natsuki. Hmm? 
Okay, so this looks like it's about the same, so I'm probably just going to skip until there's something new. See you in a minute. Okay, Monica notices that I wrote it for Sayori, basically. Same way she noticed that I wrote for Yuri last time. I, I figured that would happen. Continue to skip now. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, never mind, I'm not skipping. You and Suri are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Oh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Huh. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Suri's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy could would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> and this is the same, so I'm going to skip. So this is the first time I'm showing Yuri a poem that was not written for her, so this is going to be new dialogue, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is, is that they try to make their style very deliberate. And I think this is the same. Again. So... Alright, this is the argument where, um, Yuri and Natsuki are, are arguing over their poems. And I remember there was a choice here, so... Help me, Sayori! N Natsuki! What, what voice was that? I don't even know. <laughs> Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri? Yuri's expression is so defenseless I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Huh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Ash. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, and yes, Yuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! That was probably too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Oh, she's crying. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems? They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? But because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> B 
pathetic and beautiful. <laughs> ah, that's that's wonderful, Sayori. Thank you. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is the vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. Of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. Stop lying, Monica. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did, how did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Ash, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to, neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Ash! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't- you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Huh. <sighs> You know, Ash, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Now I'm going to stop this one here for now because my throat is very dry and I need to drink some water or something. <laughs> I'm probably going to continue recording like right after this though, but this will probably be the end of a, a video. <laughs> So, we're working on Sayori. Not much to say here, because it's like 90% the same stuff so far. So, um, I guess, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!